everybody. We're back here with the star of Feud, Diane Lane. Now, I, I understand that Jane Fonda gave you some advice about playing or an insight into your character, Slim. Who was Slim Keith, by the way? Well, Slim Keith was a formidable woman, very erudite, very uh, well-read, and she married well, as these ladies tend to do, especially because she wasn't a blue blood. She didn't come from wealth. Mm -hmm. um, without going too far into detail, I'll jump right to Jane knew Slim because Slim was a friend of Jane's stepmother. So she said that Slim used to walk like she had something dangling between her legs. And, and so she did this. <laughs> and I thought, I'm not gonna walk around like that. Mm -hmm. And anyway, we'd already shot it, it was too late. Mm -hmm. but, but can you imagine? Did she say what was dangling? A fish. <laughs> a fish, a fish dangling between her legs. So now Slim's finally gonna get mad at me after all the portrayal yes. and everything. I have to duck with the no lights are gonna fall on my head. Speaking <laughs> of Jane Fonda, speaking of Jane Fonda, uh, Jane does this thing every so often <laughs> called Fire Drill Fridays. Absolutely. On Capitol Hill, where Jane is here, evidently, and, <laughs> and where uh, she and her friends go down there and they get arrested for protesting that Congress isn't taking action about climate change. That's right. And here is one of her friends, you, getting arrested on Capitol Hill <laughs> for that. Speaking of letting your anger show and not having to be pretty for the camera, I well, mean... Well, I think you look lovely. Uh, but I was I've never been arrested on purpose. Indignant. What did this feel like? Um, I, uh, so many combination of, of emotions. I mean, I felt empowered. I think that it's so important to be active rather than depressed mm -hmm. about things. And you want, you want movement, you want motion. There ought to be a law. And so we've got to make them and we've got to motivate them to do it. Did and you take any friends with you to like... My daughter came. This is so great, but <laughs> my daughter called me the night before Eleanor and she says, Mom, I want to be there. I'm going to take the midnight train. I was like, the midnight train to DC. It's got a ring to it. So yes. she showed up and we went early in the morning. Well, that's a she got arrested with me. That's a wonderful mother-daughter activity. It's very and bonding, memory, sure. very bonding. Speak, speaking of like uh, daughter uh, memories, I understand that you were really young when you started touring the world with the theater company. How that old were true. you? Well, I was seven. And you left home. Did your parents come with you? No. So they handed you over to, let's face it, the, we're, we're circus people. Oh, we ran people. away and joined the circus. You, exactly. That's literally my life. You, you, at seven years old, are... La Mama Theater Company. Oh, La Mama. Okay, so and you're, you're traveling you around, traveling around the world. Now. What was that like for you? Like, why, why would your parents <laughs> let this happen, first of all? My therapist is rich. Um, <laughs> no, I tell you. Uh, it was, my dad said it was the best education a person could have, traveling the world, sure. seeing other cultures, sure. uh, experiencing autonomy as young as possible, because in a way, you want to, of course, they were very careful that nothing happened to me, sure, sure. even though I was a runaway. I would run away sometimes. When you were on tour, you would run away? Yeah, it did happen one time in Amsterdam, but you know, but we... <laughs> These things happen. Hey! Yes. Uh, we, we, we performed in the ruins. That was usually the venues that were chosen. So like the ruins of Persepolis, oh, wow. Baalbek, Lebanon, uh, you know where that U2 uh, famous concert footage is uh, and Mount Etna is in the background in Sicily. The sphere so, in Vegas? Is that what you're No, doing? no, no. <laughs> well, one day it might be a ruin, but let's not imagine that. No, it, just these classic venues that I'd seen in, in, in history books in school. So you're seven years old. Was there some place that stuck with you all these years as like sort of like <laughs> most magical or most arresting for you? Well, I think the ruins in Baalbek were pretty great, although I, my hands were tethered by rope. T two men were carrying a stick, and my head was bouncing on every step on the way up the hill because I was playing dead. That's all these Greek tragedies, the children get killed. So that's what my job was, is to wow. be King Astyanax or Medea's child, whatever you need. I alone live to tell the tale. <laughs> Diane, just... wonderful to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. here. The season finale of Feud, Capote versus the Swans, airs tomorrow on FX, and the entire season is available Thursday on Hulu. Diane Lane, everybody. We'll be right back with Pat Oswald.